today I'm going to show you how I get this everyday glam look. Starting off with my moisturizer, I am using the Olay Fresh Effects today and I always rub this in with my hands. Next I'm taking my foundation, this is the L'Oreal True Match and I don't have my exact shade, it's like the W3 is always sold out. So I tend to mix the W2 and the W4 to get my exact shade. I want it to look really light and natural so I go in with the beauty blender to apply this so that it's really light coverage. I don't want my brows to be too defined, so I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony just to fill them in lightly. To prime my lids, I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm first using a brush to put this on my lids and then I go in with my fingers and there are my fingernails again, you guys. I apologize. I need to get my nails done. I always say this and it never happens. For a crease color, I'm taking the Naked Basics palette and I'm mixing Faint and Naked 2, which I usually do, and I'm putting this into my crease using a big fluffy blending brush. You guys, this pigment is so pretty and it was like $5 at the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Hourglass Beige. It's the prettiest color for a pop of glitter on your lids. Next, I'm taking Crave from the Naked Basics and I'm putting that on the outer edges of my eyes. First using this eyeshadow brush and then I go in and blend it with a blending brush. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Revlon Color Stay in Black is Black. I'm thinking about branching out in terms of eyeliner, but for now, this one is my favorite. It stays on all day and it's super dark. For mascara, I'm taking this L'Oreal, I think it's the Voluminous with Collagen, but if I'm mistaken, I'll link it in the down bar. I usually use the L'Oreal Voluminous, but I ran out of it, so I've been using others. I actually really do like this one. To get my little baby lashes, I always turn my brush sideways like this, and it really helps to get in the inner corner of your eye. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell Naturals. These are super lightweight and it almost looks like you're not wearing false lashes. I'm highlighting my face with the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. This is in light sand. I like to put that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and around my mouth. I always do concealer with my hands because I feel like the warmth of my fingers really allows the concealer to warm up and spread way easier than using just a brush. Next, I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This bronzer is really natural looking and it goes on really smoothly, so I chose to use this because I didn't want it to look too dramatic. So first I go down the hollows of my cheeks and then I put the excess down my temples and kind of everywhere around my face, just to give it that bronzy glow. This is my horrible dancing. You will always see my horrible dancing in every one of my videos. Thank you so much. 
Next, I'm taking one of my favorite nude lipsticks. This is Max Matte Lipstick in Honey Love. It can be a little bit drying, so make sure if you have dry lips to put chapstick on beforehand. I only have one Benefit product, but every time I'm in Sephora, I always look at their packaging because it's so cute. This is the Benefit's What's Up, and I'm using that to highlight, so I go on top of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm curling my lashes to finish the look off. And that is my natural, everyday, go-to glam look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. I post a new video every Sunday. See you next time. And we'll go away to a different place.